Um, I did my speech on the Gettysburg Address by Abraham Lincoln. Um, Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president of the United States, and he grew up in southern Indiana. And he was given many speeches, including the Gettysburg Address. When and where did um, Lincoln give the speech? Abraham Lincoln gave the speech on November 19th, 1863, in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, at the dedication of Soldiers National Cemetery, a cemetery for Union soldiers killed at the Battle of Gettysburg during the American Civil War. And here's the Gettysburg Address. <coughs> Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. We are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, and we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor longer remember what we said here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us the living rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they have fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. And what the Gettysburg Address means that I got from it was, in the beginning Lincoln says, four score and seven years ago, which means he's referring to the year 1776, 87 years before the Gettysburg Address was delivered, which was in the year 1863. And when Lincoln says, dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal, he is referring to the Decla Declaration of Independence, the founding document of our country. The Civil War he refers to was fought so that slaves could be freed in America to finally live up to the words, all men are created equal. And Lincoln is there to dedicate the battlefield, but he says, we cannot con consecrate, we cannot hollow this ground. And because the men who died there already did that for far better than he could. Lincoln does say one thing uh, that does not turn out to be true when he says, The world will little note nor long remember what we did here, or what we say here, because today this is one of the greatest speeches of all time that Lincoln gave, and people are still deciphering it and trying to figure out what he meant in the Gettysburg Address like I'm doing right now. And then he turns to the future when he says, It is rather for us, the living, we here be dedicated to the great task remaining before us, and reminds the people that the war is not over, and they have a noble cause to continue fighting for. If people give up the fight, then the dead shall have died in vain. And then Lincoln defines the noble cause as a new birth of freedom, and what he means by this is, it's time for America to end slavery and begin living up to the words, um, all men are created equal. And then Lincoln concludes the speech by referring to um, the foundational principles of our country. This nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. He is declaring that the outcome of the Civil War will determine the fate of not just America and slaves, but the fate of democracy and governments ruled by the people worldwide. And why did Lincoln give this speech? Lincoln gave this speech to um, pay tribute to all the Union soldiers that died in the Battle of Gettysburg. And he also uses this speech to inspire the living to keep fighting for the cause of freedom 
for all people that the soldiers died for. Besides you. Questions for Drew about the Gettysburg Address or Abraham Lincoln? Drew, you said he delivered this uh, speech um, just over four months um, after the Battle of Gettysburg, when the war is at that point nowhere near over, yeah. over a year and a little bit more change before it's over. Um, how much of this um, speech do you feel like might have been political in nature, and how much do you feel like is, is just pure um, feeling or sentiment from Lincoln? Um, well, he kind of says, like, we cannot, like, um, make this any better than what the soldiers actually did for us because um, soldiers were the ones that were out there um, doing all the work and doing this all for us and all, all he can say is thank you pretty much. So that's you think any of this could have been used as a, like a positive convincing propaganda for people in the north that might have been yeah, yeah. more weary? Yeah, this, this kind of like inspired people to, to show like what this, the Union soldiers are doing for them and to inspire them to keep um, supporting the Civil War and keep fighting for freedom to end slavery. Do you have any background notes or, or kind of uh, sidebar information to share with your classmates about if he was the only person that addressed the crowd at the cemetery or if there no. was other things planned that day? Yeah, actually the guy before him I think said a two hour speech about the, uh, the Gettysburg Address and he kind of summed it up a little bit in about two, three minutes. It's some background. <coughs> You know, people are there for like hours waiting for this to start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The guy that introduces Lincoln, he's just supposed to introduce Lincoln and kind of warm up the crowd. He speaks for over two hours and he looks. Yeah. So people in the crowd are ready to fall over and faint and they're staring at this guy like you guys stare at me sometimes when I'm speaking. And then Lincoln gets up there and speaks for less than three minutes and he's like, all right, that's, that's it now. We can go home. Yeah. 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 Questions for Drew about this speech at all? Good. We're going to give Drew an opportunity to, to, to say this speech again um, at Gettysburg at a site um, within 100 yards of where Lincoln gave the address. Uh, we don't know for sure, but we have a pretty good idea of where it's at. But it's at the same cemetery, the Union portion of the cemetery. So hopefully we can uh, see if Drew can do that like Kyle Leatherman did for us pretty good last year at, at Gettysburg. So. Now let's give Drew a round of applause.